Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to know about MHTCET examination pattern and syllabus. In order for having a convenient and a productive preparation, candidates should be well aware about how this examination is conducted by the marking scheme as well as various the topics that you have to consider for preparation. This will make your preparation much easier and you would be staying organized itself. And if you want to access all of this information from one space itself, all you have to do is head over to Google and search for MHT CET syllabus precious now. So as you search, you can see the first link itself is from exams.preciousnow.com. Give a click on this and this particular page would be opening up for you. We will be starting off with a basic introduction and further you would be knowing about the brief outlook about the examination. So MHT CET examination would be conducted in three papers. So that is as follows, paper 1 mathematics, paper 2 physics and chemistry and paper 3 biology, botany and zoology. And it consists of three question papers which would be of multiple choice questions. Each paper would be for 100 marks and if you want to know an in-depth insight about this examination pattern, we would be now heading forward for the overview. So this is a state level examination from the state of Maharashtra and here you have the full form of this examination Maharashtra common entrance test and here you have the official website. So in case if you want to cross check any of the information regarding this or you can always head over or access this official website. The examination is going to be through offline mode itself. Now before I head over to the main details, I would like to request you all to please join our telegram channel because through telegram you are going to get all of the updated information regarding the entrance exams. Also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you would be always in alignment with us for knowing about how you can easily and conveniently have your preparation for all of the entrance exam to whichever you are preparing for. Next, we are going to know the examination pattern which would be as follows. You Through this, you would not only have an insight as to how the exam is designed, but also you would know the marking scheme for each of the section. So for paper one, as I've said, mathematics. So here you have choice of questions, MCQ based, class 11 you have 10, class 12 you have 40, then you have marks per question 2 and the total number of marks is for 100 and the total time duration of the exam is for 90 minutes. Then for paper 2 for physics and chemistry, you have 10 for 10, 10 for class 11, class 12 you have 40 on 40, then you have marks per question, it's only one mark per question. Then total totality of marks is for 100. The marking is for 100. 90 marks is the duration. Now for paper 3, which is biology and zoology, which is botany and zoology, then you have 10, 10 for class 11, then you have 40, 40 uh, for this particular section. And then you have one mark carrying for the marking criteria. 100 in total, 90 minutes is the time duration. So as you can see for class 11 and class 12, it is given separately. For each of the section for marking criteria for the questions are given here. Then the marking scheme is for 100. The total time duration for each of the subject is given for 90. Now that you have known the examination pattern, you have to make sure that you are constitute with this kind of papers or the majors that you are choosing for. And the subjects which would be involved are physics, chemistry, botany and zoology, which we have already known. These subjects are divided into papers. Just to give you an insight, we would be just going through an overview. And the allotment of marks is for 100 for 50 questions. And next, this marking papers is considered to be under the marking criteria for 100 marks on the totality. The total examination time is going to be for 3 hours, that is 180 minutes. And the totality of the marks is 300. 3 papers, 300, each paper carrying 100 marks. Next, we would be knowing about the syllabus section. So here you have for physics for class 11 and class 12 separately. So for physics for class 11, you have motion in plane, loss of motion, gravitation, thermal properties of matter, sound, optics, electrostatics. Then for class 12, you have circular motion, rotational motion, oscillation, gravity, 
uh, electrostatics, wave motion, magnetism, uh, stationary waves, wave theory of light, then you have uh, current electricity, then electrons and photons, then atoms, molecules and nuclei, semiconductors, then communication systems. For chemistry, likewise again, class 7 and class 12 separately is given. Basic concepts of chemistry for class 11, then structures of atom, chemical bonding, redox reactions, then you have elements of group 1 and group 2, stages of matter, hydrocarbons and then basic principles of organic chemistry. Now for class 12, you have uh, group elements, their groups and families, then general principles and process of isolation, electrochemistry, then as I've mentioned the group elements, chemical kinematics, then you have derivations, then organic compounds, alcohols, then chemistry in everyday life, biomolecules, carbohydrates. Then you have next section is for mathematics. Class 11 you have topics like trigonometry, straight lines, circle, measurement of uh, dispersion, probability complex numbers, permutation and combinations, function limits and continuity. And then for class 12 you have mathematical logical statements, matrices, pair of straight lines, circle, line, conics and then vectors, three dimensional geometry, plane, linear programming problems, continuity, applications of derivatives, integration, differentiation, applications of definite integral, differential equations, probability distribution, statistics and then you have trials and binomial distribution. Next for botany, class 11, you have diversity in organisms, biochemistry of cell, plant water relations and mineral nutrition, plant growth and development. For class 12, you have topics like genetic basis of inheritance, gene, uh, biotechnology processes, enhancement in food production, microbes in human welfare, respiration, reproduction in plants, organisms and environment. Then for zoology, you have class 11, organization of cells, animal tissues, human nutrition, human respiration. And for class 12, you have origin and evolution of life, chromosomal basics of inheritance, genetic engineering and genomics, human health and diseases, and animal husbandry, circulation, excretion, and control and coordination, human reproduction, organisms, and environment part 2. So you have to make sure that you are covering out all the fundamentals or the basic concepts for each of the subjects and apart from this knowing all the formulae and other basic subtopics which are related to these main topics have sh or should be considered in your preparation. If you have any other questions regarding this don't forget to place them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe as well for more informative videos from Precious Now.